Breaking news. Living ecosystem below Earth's surface has hundreds of times more carbon mass than humans. In other words, they're now probably going to try and take away the middle of the Earth because of carbon, like they're doing with cows. Mr. Gates wants cows to start eating seaweed, which will probably eventually bump them off. Why would... Obviously, he's trying to stop them from burping, but don't forget dinosaurs were bigger than cows and they lived here quite fine for years. Uh, but why would, you know, why would Bill want that? Well, let's have a look. Oh, there he is again, but this time he's saying he wants richer na nations to eat his synthetic beef. So could he be using that as an excuse to bump off the cows so that you all end up eating his meat. But going back to the living planet, I actually did a video on my Patreon page uh, called Earth is Alive. And I actually go through some evidence of scientists believing that Earth is actually alive. Hello everyone, I don't know if you're aware, I'm doing, by the time you watch this, this may actually already have been done, a family tree of the Anunnaki. And as you can see, it is absolutely massive because it's got everything you need in it. Now, I was looking through other people's family trees. So I've gone through every single family tree that I can find on Google Images. And no wonder why there are so many people that tell me I'm wrong when they have no clue because they've gone by these absolutely pathetic uh, attempts at family trees compared to mine which actually has the evidence so let's just take uh, some of these and have a quick look through them so uh, we have here Damkina over here on the left was actually uh, <laughs> the wife of Enki which is correct so this one's looking good so far we've got Anu etc uh, however, it's missing loads of things. So, for example, down here we've got Nurgle. Now, Nurgle was actually the son of Enki, as proven not only here in Zachariah Sitchin's book, Nurgle, the son of Enki, but also in other tablets as well. So we can rule this one out. So this one's very, very basic. Uh, in fact, so basic that it's not even worth going through because it's not got any of the other main players, like Nurgle is the one that actually uh, hated Marduk in the end and went off with Ninurta in terms of trying to destroy uh, Nurgle's brother, Marduk. So Nurgle's really important, so let's forget that one, it's pathetic. Here we've got uh, a really bad one. So basically it says here uh, that Damkina is Ninharsag. I don't know if you can just about read that. They're not, they're two totally different people. Ninharsag was the son of uh, King Anu, a uh, daughter of King Anu, sorry, and Damkina was the daughter of Av Ala or Alula. The various different names, as you'll see in my amazing family tree. So that one's pathetic. Then we've got this one here. Um, let's have a look. Oh, no, Nurgle. Who, who is the son of Enki is now, if you go this way, is now the son of Enlil. So that's another pathetic one. Sorry if I sound rude, it's just I get so many people say to me, oh, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. And they, because they're going by these stupid things here. Um, so let's have a look here. Again, very basic, doesn't add anything. Look, Nurgle's way down here, which obviously is wrong again. Ba basically, people's copied other people's um, bad research. That's, let's be honest, that's exactly what's happened. Um, so everyone's going to want to see mine. Now, I will be putting mine on my Patreon page, only because I've spent months and months uh, making sure it's <laughs> freaking airtight. Um, and I will be adding... So it doesn't have the Roman... It has Norse and it has Indian... Uh, but it doesn't have Roman and Greek counterpart names on there yet. But it does have pictures up there of the different people, etc. So once I get to that part, I will update it. So let's have a look then. Uh, so this one here, let's, I like to find King Anu, Enlil, and see whether or not they've got Enki. So they've got Ningas. Uh, I'm just trying to see where. So... They've not got, I'm guessing that's Anu. Somehow they've added an extra one in there between Anu and, uh, yeah, somehow they've added an extra one in there. 
Don't know what they, that's pathetic. Wow. I, I'm confused by this one. This one's really stupid. Look, a Gigi. Come a Gigi comes off of Endil. What the hell? A Gigi come down. A Gigi Oh Jesus. A Gigi are the sons of gods. All of these are gods. That's their race name. Anunnaki's race name. Anunnaki is just a name, those that came from heaven to earth. In other words, a team name for those ones that, of those gods that came to earth. And this person's put down, our Gigi comes off of Enlil. Frickin' no wonder why everyone's confused to hell. Uh, let's have a look here. So we've got, this is a very basic one again. It's got Inky and Ninky, which is correct. With Marduk. Um, wow. Uh, they've, they've skipped some serious bits here. They've gone straight down here to Gilgamesh. Yes, my family tree actually covers not only Gilgamesh, covers Jesus, covers Mary. The white ones are Homo sapiens, so you know which what. So, yeah, mine's, again, without sounding big-headed. It's not big-headed, it's just doing the homework. Um, I think we've looked at that one already. This one's ultra-basic. Obviously, it's not even got anything off of Enki there, so it's no pointless. I think we've looked at that one as well. Yeah, that was the one where we ended up with Gilgamesh. Um, I think we've already looked at this one as well. Like I said, there's only a handful really on um, Google Images that you can look at. And again, it's missing um, uh, Nurgle here. It should have been off of there. Uh, sorry. Yeah. It's not there, so another one that's rubbish. Uh, this one's, again, I think we've looked at a similar one to this. It's got nothing in there that's relevant. And then we've got this one here, which is almost right, except it's completely wrong. I'm just being <laughs> trying to be nice. Um, look, they've even got Hathor as down as Nimna. Uh, wow. Okay, I've got that totally different. And Patar is not Enki. Patar, actually Patar is Enki. Uh, sorry, I was just getting a garret away there. But Thoth is not um, the son of Marduk. Thoth is Ningazida, who is the brother of uh, Marduk and the brother of Nurgle. <laughs> and the brother of Gipple. Oh, my God. So, yeah. So, everybody, do look forward to my amazing um, thing. It's coming out very, very soon. I'll make sure everyone knows where it is. But it will be on my Patreon page, and you can get to my Patreon page. All you have to do is click on these things, and it tells you all about who's with what. It's massive. So, I'll put that up on my Patreon page very soon, if it's not already there. And for a couple of pounds, I mean, you know, I've spent... I'm the only one that can ever do this without sounding really rude. I am the only one that's researched enough for 40 years to be able to even come close to having it absolutely correct. So, yeah, so forgive me for putting it on my Patreon page, but it's, and I'm going to be doing a video explaining all the people with that as well. So if it's not already on there, go have a look, check out my Patreon page. You can get to my Patreon page from my website, which is outruehistory.co.uk. And once you're at outruhistory.co.uk, you can just scroll down to where it says Patreon, click Patreon, and you'll go through to the Patreon page. So thank you very much, guys, and I will catch you again very, very soon. One of you all asked, which planet is the oldest? We don't know for sure. This gentleman is right. We don't know for sure. However, we actually know which ones are the newest. And these are in tablets in the Columbia University and in the British Museum. Uh, one's called the Enuma Elish, the other one's under the Morhan collection. And these are from the Anunnaki, which people don't seem to believe that they were here, but they actually name what planets were here uh, previously, and then they explain that Tiamat, which was another big planet between Jupiter and Mars, got smashed into, which created the asteroid belt and created Earth. And remember, they named the planets and so did the Greeks before we could even see all of the planets. If you want to see evidence of this, please visit my website www.outruehistory.co.uk. On the home page, scroll down to see where it says click here and you'll get all the evidence you need about the Anunnaki uh, and their planets and naming planets, etc. Everything you need. Breaking news, Chile's ancient mummies are thousands of years older than the Egyptians. And it goes on to say that they reckon it's about 7,000 years ago that these mummies uh, were actually 
the skin was taken off, their insides removed, and their skin was sewn back on, which is pretty impressive for 7,000 years ago. I couldn't do it to this day. But as you always know, don't trust mainstream. And I say that because when they're telling us these dates, such as 7,000 years ago, just look at this headlines, if I can get rid of this stupid thing here. Mummification in Egypt, a thousand years older than thought. In other words, they have no idea whatsoever whatever they're talking about, and they just keep pushing the dates back. So while people say pseudoscience and all this kind of baloney, pseudo-archaeology, you've got to remember that mainstream don't actually know what they're talking about either. Otherwise, we wouldn't have... I mean, a thousand years is, is a massive time for them to have got the dates wrong. So, yeah always follow me it's a lot easier you get real information dragon skeleton found this is a chinese 240 million year old dragon skeleton found however is it really a dragon or is it just a creature that's 240 million years old and secondly most importantly that no one's ever talking about the most logical thing is who was around to have carved and drew these 240 million years ago humans came around five three hundred thousand years ago so we're talking millions and millions of years difference so, in other words, did this kind of creature survive and people carved them to make dragons? Or did dinosaurs actually carry on living a lot longer than what we're told? Which I have showed evidence that they lived up until about 2,000 years ago, uh, dinosaurs. So, chances are this is not actually a dragon because no one was around to even see it. This is more than likely a lizard type creature that's now been called a dragon simply because it's a bit of PR news. Can someone explain to this person that when you have water on a ball and you're inside the earth's atmosphere already then that water is going to go down to the ground just like we're standing or sitting now we're not floating. So in order for someone to actually do the test with the ball with water you need to take that outside of the earth because obviously you know, you're already doing the experiment within the experiments. That's stupid. So you need to take that ball outside. You then need to scale it up because you have to do what they call a control. You have to scale that up to the size of Earth. Then you have to give it exactly the same environments, etc., as Earth in order to do the proper test. Once you've done all of that, uh, you need to spin it, etc., to be able to say, aha, it shouldn't stick, but it does. So stop thinking in terms of where we are now you need to scan it out properly and that's why silly people i just give up i'll give up strange metal from beyond our world found in ancient treasure stash now this is found in alicante now what that's interesting is this here is actually from a meteorite so you've got to ask yourself did the ancients back then look out for meteorites and then go and dig it up? Or was it just a coincidence that they found meteorite and made it into something? Now, interestingly, the dagger of Tutankhamun is also uh, a meteorite, not from this world. So, the question remains, were these just by chance? I'll let you answer that. Or uh, do you think there may have been some aliens involved using meteorites or using metals from another planet. Hmm.